You get a script called The Invisible Man, and, you know, obviously there's expectations there. It's called The Invisible Man, but it reads as this emotional drama and the story of a woman who is finding herself, finding her strength, and finding her voice. Emily, where are you? I think what Lee tapped into is the emotional journey of this woman. He really did find something difficult to talk about and has been open to talking to me about it and me giving my own thoughts on what it's like from a female perspective. Adrian was a sociopath, completely in control of everything. Open the door! I think there are a lot of people that have dealt with invisible men in their lives, and these are real characters with real problems. That's what attracted me to the project. Oh, okay. It's not about something that you can't comprehend. It's not about something you can't wrap your mind around. Quietly now, and go. Early on, Lee thought Elizabeth was perfect to do Invisible Man. Not. If it weren't for her, the movie wouldn't be nearly as good as it is. She's the master of suspense. She can turn any emotion on. Hey, you okay? Okay. You okay? I'm okay. What? I'm okay, James. Look at me. He got his own throat. What did it sound like to you? Just really, really brilliant to watch. Oh, so we can't be too far across. But... The most physically challenging thing was the fight sequence that we did with the Invisible Man. I loved it when I read it, and so the pressure to do it justice is kind of huge. I've never done a moment like that, and I really wanted it to be cool. They wanted me to do as much of it as possible, although I had incredible assistance from my stunt double, Sarah. I had an incredible stunt team here. Three, two, one, go! That was definitely, definitely really challenging. I felt I was pretty beat up the next day. <laughs> but it was fun too, so it was also kind of cool and gratifying. Okay, here we go. Probably the hardest thing emotionally to do was we shot the final scene the first week. So that was just a little bit of mind trip, trying to reverse engineer that and kind of think about what we wanted the final scene to be, which is this huge moment in the movie after all of this stuff has happened to Cecilia. Please, please, please you have to help me. He's trying to kill himself. You have to come as fast as you can. Oh, please. Surprise. I'm very happy with it. I'm very proud of it. But that was definitely challenging because you're dealing with a lot of information that you don't have yet. So in a way, it was kind of cool because then we actually did know where we ended up. And it was a matter of just backing up from there. <laughs> there you are. I see you! I see you! take my work seriously, and I love what I do, but I don't take myself seriously. <laughs> I have a full knowledge of how lucky I am. Basically, I just pretend for a living. I think everyone who signed up for this knew that it wasn't gonna be the easiest job in the world. People are here because they love the material, they love the job, and I feel like people believe in the character, and it makes me wanna keep going.